What's up guys, today we're gonna look at the last advertising and PSA media iceberg. Unfortunately, we all know what ads are. Speaking of, this video has been sponsored by me. It's been sponsored by me, I don't get sponsors on this channel. This iceberg has been made by Simi Dois and I got his permission to make this video. Me and a friend of mine, we went through the iceberg together and we compiled the most interesting things. We cut some things off. Also speaking of, I got my good friend Dekonat5, linked in the channel below. To read some of the more fun entries. There will be a link to everyone that was involved in this project below and with that said let's get right on the iceberg. Excuse my shitty gameplay in the background, I, uh, I don't really know what to put there. Tier 1, Shrek HP commercial. I'm sure you've seen this picture before. Snap. Yep, this one's going into my cringe compilation. The origin of this meme is actually a collaboration between HP and Shrek, allegedly for their HP PhotoSmart 945 camera, which released around 2003. From this advertisement we only have two pictures. This one from the meme, and this one where Shrek probably looks upon his cringe compilation, of which you are a part of, sadly. There's also this advertisement with Fiona, which has been uploaded to YouTube, although the one that features Shrek is still lost. Hidogata. Hidogata is a Japanese public service announcement that's estimated to be from the early 1990s to the early 2000s. It grew to notoriety when in 2004 a two-chan thread was made talking about creepy commercials, where one person would mention Hidogata. There was this terribly scary commercial. Two white human figures are depicted against a black backdrop, while a noise going <laughs> kept ringing. After noise repeated two times, a text would appear saying, Every two seconds, a man dies on earth, and then one of the humanoid figures will disappear. It will then return and the other one will disappear. People have speculated that it's a railroad safety PSA, however, it's not even confirmed that it exists. Slamfest 99, Slamfest 99, also known as Super Smash Bros. Live, lost livestream of promotional event for the Nintendo 64 crossover fighting game, 1999. Presented by Deconuts 5. Slamfest was a promotional event for the upcoming Super Smash Bros. held on April 24th, 1999 at the MGM Grand Adventures Theme Park. Mario and Donkey Kong would start the match, DK being much larger than our favorite plumber, quickly took Mario out. Yoshi came in and got his revenge on the gorilla. Pikachu would come in for the monkey, only to be knocked down by Yoshi's lethal tail. Then before anyone knew it, Mario went crazy. He wiped out Donkey Kong, Pikachu, and his own teammate Yoshi. Ultimately, the match would end in a crash, which knocked out everyone resulting in a draw. Everyone's the winner, the announcer yelled. Sadly, the livestream is not available anymore. It's been lost to time. Just quite a shame because I would have loved to watch that. Tier 2 Spider Man Safety Series. The Spider Man Safety Series is a direct to video animated show distributed by the Learning Company. Yeah, that's the company's name. In 1990, four separate videotapes were produced Don't Hide Abuse, Smart Kids Play It Safe, What to Do About Drugs, and Where Do You Go for Help. The VHS release has a long stop production, and due to the episode only being sold to schools, copies are hard to come by. Only the first episode, Don't Hide Abuse, has been found and the others are lost. In the first one, Don't Hide Abuse, Spider-Man addresses the issue of physical abuse. In this video, Maria, a young elementary student, is afraid of telling anyone that her father abuses her. Her friends become suspicious after seeing her bruises and ask Spider-Man for help. Smart kids play it safe. In this video, Spider-Man has arranged various safety tests for his friends, in which he proves that his friends are responsibly following the seven rules that he has taught them. In the episode What to do about drugs, Timmy gets offered drugs by two older boys, but Spider-Man teaches them that drugs are bad. And this last episode, there's no information whatsoever, but it appears that the New York State Library has a copy. Early Japanese McDonald's commercials. In 1971, on the 20th of July, McDonald's opened its first restaurant on Asian shores directly in Tokyo. The first commercials started airing in 1973, however commercials that started from 1975 have already been found and uploaded to YouTube. Only the ones that went from 1973 to 1974 are lost. People that saw the ads described them as being bizarre comedic live action ads and in one of them Ronald is rowing a wooden boat on a river. Rick and Morty subway commercial. Sometime after Rick and Morty premiered in 2015, Justin Roiland collaborated with Subway to make a series of ads featuring Rick and Morty. These commercials feature both characters exclaiming that they're the new Jared. But that was before all the allegations and the cupcakes and you, you know what I'm on about. So the ads were quickly cancelled before airing and Roiland said in an interview that he isn't allowed to leak them. So they're lost. Tier 3 
The Ring, last movie teasers and trailers. Before The Ring released in 2002, there were various ads hidden throughout random websites. However, most of these have been archived, but there's three videos that are lost because the sites that hosted them are no longer available. The two websites are sadakosdead.com and samarasdead.com. The three last videos are called sadako1.movie, sadako2.movie and bloody1.movie. Bartcasting. Bartcasting was an event that took place on Fox Kids for a single day in November 1996 to promote the upcoming season 8 for The Simpsons. During this event, Bart Simpson took control of a Fox satellite and controls the broadcasting. It leads to him hosting the regular lineup of kids shows alongside an ad break featuring various Simpsons clips and also clips from the upcoming season. Since this was a one-time event, not a lot has been recorded. The only things we have to prove it even happened are two bumpers and one promo that happened a week before the event even aired. Fourth title to create a Mountain Dew ad. In 2013, Tyler the Creator worked with Mountain Dew to make multiple commercials featuring his own created character Felicia the Goat. However, after the first three commercials aired, there was heavy backlash due to accusations of racism, thus leading to the commercials being cancelled. However, there is speculation about there being a fourth commercial. Its existence is unconfirmed though, so take it with a grain of salt. In tier 4, The Works. The Works is a 30 second long anti-drug PSA which began airing in early 2002. In it a large mechanical figure sits while his body is x-rayed to show his components inside. A funky soundtrack plays in the background while the machine eats food off of a conveyor belt. With every healthy food he eats, something in his body is shown, like his heart or his stomach. However, a spiked ball labeled drugs appears. Once the machine ingests it, the music stops and the body turns grayscale before loudly breaking apart. A child's voice is then heard saying, Drugs can really break your body down. A 10 and 20 second long version is available online, however the original 30 second version, which is supposed to be a bit darker than the ones I just showed you, is still missing. Hate Hurts You PSA Hate Hurts You was a 30 second long anti-racism PSA from the Jewish Chautauqua Society. It began airing in 1974. In said PSA, a cartoon man would slowly walk towards the screen with ominous music playing in the background. The man's head grows red and big with every step he takes. A dark voice then tunes in saying, Hate is an acid that corrodes. A poison that erodes. Your body, your mind and your soul. So when you hate, who do you hurt the most? Hate hurts you. Once the man is right in front of the screen, he explodes while the voice yells, Hate hurts you. Due to the ad's eerie and sinister tone, it scared children at the time, and thus it was quickly pulled from circulation. It got replaced by a 10 second long clip, which we still have available today. The original 30 seconds however are still lost. The new Teen Titans just say no. In 1983, animation studio Hanna Barbera was developing a pitch for a new Teen Titans show called The New Teen Titans. However, the series was rejected by NBC and never went anywhere. They utilized their characters from the can show to make an anti-drug PSA. This commercial had multiple versions of being 60, 30 and 20 seconds long. It featured a young basketball player, LeBron James, being offered drugs before the Teen Titans arrived and explained to him that he can just say no to drugs and even though the commercial aired, the only existing footage that can be found is only 18 seconds long with no audio. Yes, this is the sad part and also uh, I want to reference Dream Drug Drug Tweet so I'm done with my part, uh, like and subscribe, watch Deconaut 5, goodbye. Tier 5 Standard Federal Bank Art Museum Advertisement Around the late 1990s, an animated ad for the Standard Federal Bank played on the Detroit PBS station WTBS. The ad started at a staircase to a museum and then panned across the hall where various art pieces hung on a green wall. Silhouettes of people would be standing before the art. The camera then arrives at the art piece of the Federal Bank logo with New Age music playing in the background. This ad has yet to surface on the internet, however the Standard Federal Bank has been acquired by the LaSalle Bank of Chicago in 2004, which in turn then got acquired by the Bank of America in 2008, so it's very unlikely that archives of this ad still exist, thus making it lost. Dark Temptation Game Saga Apparently in 2008, X in Brazil created a character called Chocolate Man to promote their deal, chocolate. They featured said character in an advertisement, which itself is quite terrifying, I mean, look at him. <laughs> look at him! However, for some reason, they also made a video game to accompany that. And there's this gameplay video.
but the game has been lost because X took it down. Probably because the game was cursed, holy shit. Jorori. The Jorori are a type of traditional Japanese puppet theater. There is a site documenting last Japanese commercials. On this wiki, there is one commercial that rivals the infamy of Hirogata. It's called Jorori, and it is a PSA against cat sales. Catch sales are a type of scam in which a scammer lures vulnerable people to a secluded location like a back alley by telling them they're gonna get a business deal or a sale. In this location, the scammer will then threaten and rob the victim. And because these crimes were on the rise in Japan, the Jorori PSA was made. In it we see a dark city street in which a kabuki doll, the one that gets featured in the Jorori theater, telling a passerby, here, here. When the man approaches the doll, the sound of wood clacking starts playing and the doll switches its face to a demon by saying, come on, come on. A text then appears on screen saying, let's never keep up with catch sales. For this ad, there's many interesting theories. However, if I would discuss these now, the video will be even longer. So if you're interested, I'm gonna link it in the description. And that's the end of the iceberg. Thank you for staying throughout this entire shitty video. Uh, if you made it this far, comment sure read these nuts or something. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, subscribe and let me know because I'd love to make more content like this. Thanks for watching.